Good morning and welcome again to our thought for the day. Our text is taken from Luke chapter 18 and verse 14. And the title I've given is simply this, The way up is down. The text says, He that humble himself shall be exalted. Isn't our Lord wonderful today? You see, he not only saves and keeps us, but he rewards us for that that only he could do. He rewards us for cleansing us from our sin, but he has cleansed us by his precious blood, and yet he gives us reward by, by cleansing us from our sin and allowing us to serve him and to follow him. You know, we think about this verse, and really it shouldn't be difficult for us to humble ourselves. But in all truth, if we're absolutely honest with ourselves, we have nothing to be proud of. We ought to take the lowest place without even being told to do so. But if we are sensible, friends, and honest, we shall be little in our own eyes, especially when we come before the Lord in prayer. We should shrink to nothing before the God of all the universe, the God who said, let there be, and light came into being. The God who said, let there be, and it happened. This is the God that is our Savior and with us this very day. Or to humble ourselves before such a great God should be easy. For we have no merit of our own, but our appeal must always be to the mercy of God. We need to cry afresh, God be merciful to me, a sinner. And when we realize and recognize what he has saved us from and what he has done for us and what he has made us, he has made, he has made us kings and priests in him, when he, we realize that what is waiting for us in glory, then we will serve him with every fiber of our being. But you heard of the exciting words for each one who is listening this morning, and they're words that come from the very throne of God. We shall be exalted by the Lord himself if we humble ourselves. For the true child of God, the way up is down. You see, when we are stripped of self, we are clothed in humility, and it is then that the Lord will exalt us. And he'll exalt us by clothing our mind with peace, and exalt us to the revelation more of his wonderful son through his word and fellowship with himself. We will be exalted by the fact that we are pardoned and justified by his blood. You see, God puts his honours upon those who can wear them to honour the giver. How often have I heard students in our church say, when their graduation day approaches, that they need to give all their thanks to their parents who have supplied everything that they have needed to be able to have a graduation day and to receive their diplomas and to go away thrilled with what they've received. Can I tell you, friends, that we have a graduation day coming very soon. And it is when we are taken from this earth into the very presence of God. And there's only one that we can thank, and that's our Heavenly Father all that he has done and we want to give him the praise and the glory you see he will make you useful and he will give you acceptance and influence to those who will not be puffed up but the lower we kneel the greater will be our responsibility oh god bring me lower in self that you can lift me higher in christ for your glory help me always to remember that the way to rise in Christ is to sink in self. Oh God, help us to realize that we need to show Christ and not ourselves in any way, for all that we have is to our precious Savior. God bless you. I look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow morning.